Yo, what's up guys? So I want to talk about some moves from Tekken 7 and like some things about Tekken 7 King that I'm definitely going to miss in Tekken 8. Yeah, so for starters, I'm definitely going to miss hold for one plus two. Not the move itself, like without holding it, but the held version. So when you hold it, get the unblockable, that's no longer in Tekken 8. Why they didn't just um, edit Armor King's Crouch Dash 1 to wear, you know, like a new unblockable high clothesline. But um, I, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, you could also like extend the range just a little bit by um, releasing a little early. And you will delay the animation a little bit too. So I'm gonna definitely miss that about the King Shadow Lariat. But now it's completely Armor King's Shadow Lariat and Tekken 8. The good thing about it though is that um, he can get a guaranteed 4 4 neutral 2 in Tekken 8, and it's a lot easier to land compared to this game. So um, that's, that's always a plus, and obviously, like the block stun on it, super, super range super plus but with king the frames are um like the same on block and Tekken 8 so that's that's kind of a difference but they still like it's a much better move i'm just gonna miss the unblockable also his one plus four moonsault with that animation completely gone on Tekken 8 i guess it's a balance thing i don't know why um like it doesn't do much damage and it's punishable on hit they lay on the ground i don't know why they uh, Took that away. They left the uh, the back turn version of both the moonsault and the clothesline in Tekken 8, but the front facing ones they're just both gone, and I do not know why. I guess the maybe balancing with the moonsault, but the clothesline being gone is um that I don't get that one at all. That's just random. Also, like I'm gonna miss the um diving cross chop. <laughs> this move was um mainly used as a kind of a gimmicky tool to get the opponent to um try to block it at max distance and then of course you get guaranteed damage so let me uh show you guys how it works i'm sure you've seen me on plenty of fights doing this the computer yeah, you see plus seven but it's possible to um yeah plus 11 they couldn't block those jabs there so that whole move being gone is, um, it's a really big blow because that's a move he's had since Tekken 1. Again, I don't know for a life of me how they took that move away. Like one of its iconic old school moves that have very unique properties. You know, it's a high attack. You can always duck it, but it turns into a low and max this. Let me just get him to crouch guard there's a there's a, a practice mode glitch to where um i don't know why they just don't block it at max distance you can always block it and launch you negative 25 but the thing is it just looks like so looks like a mid so that's something that's um like very iconic thing that i'm gonna miss because it's been like that since Tekken one yeah and moving along the old Irish whip, man. I'm gonna miss that move. I don't know about you guys, but um, I find the Tekken 8 version of the Irish whip, it's not good at all. <laughs> because the move is breakable even on Tekken 8. So it's like, I thought I thought originally that if you didn't break the Irish whip, we'd get the, you know, the, the Jaguar sprint, one elbow guarantee. But they can still block the mix up. So it's a mix up that's way more risky than this old version that had actual row follow-ups. They were all breakable, but only one of them could get you punished if the opponent broke it. That was the, the three plus four extension here. Yeah, this one here, he gave a guarantee like ground throw attempt or people's elbow, or if you're in rage, you get a pretty good rage drive combo, but if they broke it with three plus four, then they can actually launch you in this game. So that was like the only extension. But yeah, this here, with the guarantee back two one or the guarantee back one two against everyone else. Yeah, I'm definitely going to miss that. Cause yeah, even at the wall, like super, super strong 
they did not break it. Yeah, look at the damage. I'm gonna miss it, guys. I'm definitely gonna miss it. Like all the average whip setups and everything. Yeah, he, he doesn't have that setup. That's a setup that he's had since Tekken 3. Since he got the Irish whip. Yeah. Been able to always dash up and get a ground throw. So we're probably gonna see a lot less of that half Boston crab. So it's actually um quite a heavy nerf to King and Tekken 8. I don't get like I said, I don't get it. Why would why would they take away so many moves in just one go and replace it with Jaguar Sprint? Makes no sense. I don't like it. Definitely gonna miss it. Hopefully um they bring it back. Cause it was just too good to uh, get rid of everything. Delete the entire Irish whip grow follow up. Oh yeah, and I'm definitely definitely going to miss up for three plus four no, i'm just messing yeah so when i was playing the beta i realized that they nerfed king's okay quite a bit from various various grabs like shining wizard here like i could not um could not get that drop kick cross up like not one time in practice mode or against a person so um i think that they added just a few more recovery frames at the end of shining wizard like same thing for uh tier one of twist i just could not get it also like from rock bottom the animation is a little bit different on Tekken 8. it's a little bit slower and more impactful but you no longer get a guaranteed down four yeah 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 right there just have to time it right yeah, so if they later still get hit by it, it's all been nerfed. They get up almost right after King does. So same for um, the struggle combination multi-throw from Crouch Dash 1 plus 4. They nerfed the Yoki on this move too. Down 4 is no longer guaranteed that either on Tekken 8. But yeah, the old King Oki on Tekken 7, I'm definitely going to miss all those guaranteed follow-ups from Rock Bottom, struggle combination, Cross up potential from kind of wizard and all that. I'm gonna miss it. So lastly, I'm going to miss the Tekken 7 execution barrier for King at the upper level. So you guys know, like this combo here is um about as B and B as it gets. Super simple, does decent damage, but he can definitely get more if you add like four four one combos. Let me see if I can get it. Can't get it first try. Okay, there it is, there it is. Yeah. 62 to 67, just get that five extra points. You know, it was a difficult, difficult combo to execute, like four, four, one combos. That was super difficult. Those point blank shining wizards, super difficult. Now, something that they did change about Tekken 8, which is pretty weird, is that you can't do um, like the shortcut dashing giant swing. See, I struggled to do it. Yeah, that one there when you like, you input the full giant swing input and then you hit forward forward two times and it comes out. So it's super easy to um, like mix that up with Shining Wizard at the higher level, obviously, but they took that away in Tekken 8. So that's actually a really big plus. So now you have to like dash and do a giant swing that way. Yeah, just like that. Just dash and then do giant swing. And of course it's like possible to do um, like the blue sparkle stuff. So I'm glad they added that. So um, yeah, King is still going to be difficult to optimize, I feel, in Tekken 8. But the optimization on this game was just different. Like like the down forward 2-1 counter hits on um, like smaller characters to get the burning knuckle. I'm definitely going to miss all of that. I just want you guys to know how I feel about Tekken 8. The stuff I'm going to miss about King from Tekken 7. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What are you gonna miss from Tekken 7 King and Tekken 8? Aside from the stuff I already mentioned in the video. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course, expect more content from Tekken 8. It's like, as soon as a new trailer comes out, I'm definitely gonna be on it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.